Hey everyone, here's a question on parallelogram. The question is, in a parallelogram ABCD, the bisector of angle A and angle B meets at O. Find angle AOB. So this is a parallelogram A, B, C, D and they have given the bisector of angle A. So this complete is angle A and this is a bisector that is O is a bisector. Bisector means it divide the angles into two equal parts and here this is angle B and this OB is a bisector. You can see that this bisector is meeting here at point O that is what they have given. We have to find out angle A O B that is angle O we have to find out. So how to do this? Now you can see that bisector means it's going to divide the angle in two equal parts. So that's why you can see one line here and here which means these two angles are equal. Similarly this is complete angle B and this is one angle and this is one angle. These are two separate angles here but this whole is angle B. So how to find out this angle? So let us assume that angle A is X that is whole angle A I am talking about. So let angle A be equal to X okay then angle B I am taking as a Y. Now angle A means I am talking about this whole angle this complete angle is X and the complete angle is B but I want to find out only this angle and this angle. Now since I know my complete angle is X this whole angle is X and this is a bisector bisector means dividing into equal parts which means this will be half of X and this will be half of X yes half half right if it's a whole angle is 80 then this will be 40 this will be 40 so this whole angle is X then this angle will be X by 2 because half of X is X by 2 right so this angle will become X by 2 and this angle will also become X by 2 but I'm not worried about this angle that is D A O that is this angle I'm not worried about I'm talk I want this interior angle O A B this inside angle because I want to find out angle O here inside right so I'm gonna erase this X by 2 or you can just keep it if you want and similarly this whole angle this complete angle is Y then both this angle will become half of Y so that is Y by 2 and this angle will become Y by 2 so here angle A okay let me write down angle O A B will be equal to X by 2 and angle O B A will be equal to Y by 2. I hope it's clear why it is Y by 2 and X by 2 because they are half of the whole angle. And this is O A B. This angle is O A B and O B A is this one, this angle. Now I want to find out this angle and you can see that A O B is a triangle, right? And we know that in triangle all angle, sum of all angle is 180 degree. So here since in triangle or we can say we can triangle A O B in triangle A O B sum of all angle is 180 so this angle will become so I'm not going to write down angle A because angle A is complete this angle but I want this small angle right this is angle O A B so angle angle O A B plus angle AOB that is angle O plus angle OBA is equal to 180 degree sum of this three angle this angle this angle and this third angle sum of this three angle is 180 degree so angle OAB is X by 2 plus angle AOB which we don't know we have to find out plus angle OBA is Y by 2 Y by 2 is equal to 180 degree so here I'm going to just rearrange them. So this is angle AOB is angle AOB plus X by 2 plus Y by 2 is equal to 180 degree. So we're going to add this X by 2 and Y by 2. Both the denominators are same. So we're going to just add the numerator. So angle AOB plus X plus Y by 2 is equal to 180 degree. Right? But we know that angle, what is X plus Y here? In a parallelogram, sum of adjacent angle is 180 degree. So this angle A and angle B are adjacent angle. This complete angle A and this complete angle B, they both are adjacent angle. That means the sum should be equal to 180 degree. So let me write down here. 
now I'm writing this in bracket um, since in parallelogram adjacent angle sum is 180 so adjacent angle sum is 180 degree so using this property we can say angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 but what is angle A? Angle A is X right? I have taken angle A is equal to X and angle B is equal to Y so X plus Y will be equal to 180 and here you can see in this equation I got X plus Y so in place of this X plus Y I'm going to substitute 180 degree so if I continue the solution it will be this will be angle A O B plus in place of X plus Y here I'm substituting 180 180 by 2 180 by 2 is equal to 180 so I'm gonna cancel 180 and 2 2 ones and 2 90 is 180 I got 90 here I'm gonna transpose 90 to the other side of the equation so angle A O B is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree which will be equal to 90 degree so this angle AOB is 90 degree that's it I hope this question is clear in case you have other questions or doubts you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching